morning, everybody. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 22. 22. How's everybody doing? Are we getting there? Are we getting closer to having everything done? Or are you like me and you feel a little bit like you're scrambling? That's, that's I, I told David, like, I feel like really anxious because I still have a lot to do. And here we are, like, it is snuck up on me this year. Um, <clears throat> I will get it all done. But <laughs> it has just been, I, I don't know, I feel like the stuff I still have to do is like a lot. <laughs> so I'm trying to get motivated today. I'm getting started with my day early. Just got the kids on the bus and I went ahead and got ready. I got my coffee here. I've got on my favorite sweatshirt, my gangster wrapper, because I need to motivate myself to get a lot of wrapping done. Today is the last day that my big kids will be in school all day. And so um, I need to get all of the presents wrapped. Um, a lot of this stuff already is, but there's still some that's not. And I don't want to do that when they're home. So I need if I, if I don't do it today, I'm going to have to be doing it late at night after they're asleep. And I don't want to do that. So today my priority is getting stuff wrapped. Also, I am working on a few homemade gifts and I have to put those together. <laughs> I, I had the idea, you know, and now it's time to actually execute them. And so I'm a little bit overwhelmed with that. There's a couple ones. If you guys want to know more about that, maybe I can do a whole Patreon video on that. I still got to edit my Patreon videos. By the time you're watching this, I hope they're already edited. The ones that I tell you guys what the kids got for Christmas. Um, but I would like to do another Patreon video for the homemade presents I'm making and just tell you guys about them because... I can tell you after Christmas, but I don't know. I'm excited about it, and I could actually show you them. So if you want to see that, let me know. Maybe I could squeeze that filming in, too. But um, also, this morning, David has left to go get our Vanna oil change. In the South, we say oil, <laughs> not oil. Uh, we're going to go get an oil change, and we're just trying to get our car ready for, you know, all the traveling we're going to be doing. So he's there. And he's going to wait with it and see how long it's going to take. And then probably when Mark wakes up, we're going to go rescue him so he doesn't wait there all day. Um, we'll just see. Hopefully he's hoping that he got there early enough. It's not going to be a problem. I need to get some groceries because we woke up this morning and there was not a drip or a sip or anything of milk. I don't know the last time like we've not had any milk. I always make sure we have milk. I thought we had a whole other gallon in the, in the backup fridge. No. It's completely gone. And that just shows you, I know that's something little and it was no big deal, but that just shows you the state of me, like the stress I'm in because, um, I never let stuff like that happen. Like, I just feel like I'm a little bit behind with lots of stuff I have to do. So that kind of brings me into what I want to talk to you guys about today. You know, this is a super busy time for all of us right now. I've talked to several people in my personal life who are like, yeah, I feel really stressed out. I think a lot of us feel an increase in stress around holiday seasons. And, you know, if you're already struggling with your mental health, the increase in stress just can be really hard to manage. And I just was going to let you guys know that talking to someone can really help. And that brings me to today's sponsor, BetterHelp. Thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist who is trained to listen to you and give you helpful, unbiased advice. And you know, sometimes starting therapy can be really difficult. Sometimes the right therapist isn't in your area. And then some people find the face-to-face -face interaction just a little bit uncomfortable. BetterHelp can match you with one of their 30,000 therapists in their network, which gives you a wider range of expertise than who may be available in your local area. It's super easy to get started. All you have to do is fill out a quick questionnaire that will help assess your specific needs. And then in most cases, you're matched with your therapist in as little as 48 hours. And then after that, you can start scheduling your therapy sessions at a time that's convenient for you. If the therapist you're matched with doesn't seem like a great fit for you, which can happen when you're starting therapy, no worries. You can switch therapists at any time with no additional charge and without worrying about insurance and who's in your network or anything like that. You know, people spend hours in the gym every week. Why not give your mind the same kind of attention? Over 4 million people have used BetterHelp to start living a happier, healthier life. If you think you may benefit from therapy, consider BetterHelp. You can visit the link in the description box or go to betterhelp.com slash
Clicking that link supports this channel, but it also gives you 10% off your first month of BetterHelp so you can connect with a therapist and see if it helps you. Thank you so much to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. I love, love working with them, and I think that it is so true. We spend so much of our time, and I know we're getting into the new year and all of that very soon, and there's going to be New Year's resolutions and and all of this stuff, and you know, we want to be healthier, and our you know gyms will be full, and all of that. But you know, what I have learned in my own weight loss journey is it starts here. If you don't have a healthy mind and you don't have um, a good mindset, it's going to be very hard to have a healthy body. So um, I love what they do, and I really couldn't recommend them more. Um, I am I am going to try my best to just stay calm today with all the stuff I have to get done. Sometimes I tend to like rehearse all the stuff I have to do and like kind of fret about it and it, that doesn't help anything. So um, I'm going to get kind of a game plan here. Um, as soon as Mark wakes up from his sleep, I'm not waking him up. He'll be up. Usually he wakes up around eight and it's 737 right now. So as soon as he gets up, we are going to go to Walmart. I would also like to go to Sam's because there's a couple things there. Uh, we have no more French toast. I don't think we necessarily need it, or I might just get it at Walmart and just get a smaller box of it. Um, Nate really likes to have that for breakfast or lunch. So, um, I may just get that. I might just do everything at Walmart and not have to go to multiple places. That will save me some time today. Um, also, um, I need to get gas, just do some stuff like that. And then we're going to come home and my goal is the wrapping today that needs to get done. And the homemade presents I'm doing, because like I said, the kids will be home tomorrow. It won't be as quiet for me to focus on that. And then, um, tomorrow when they're home, I can clean and do some stuff like that. So it kind of helps me to like break up my day into chunks as opposed to like, um, from nine to 10, I'm going to do this. And from 10 to 11, I'm going to do this. But like, if I know, okay, in the morning, I'm going to focus on my errands. And then in the afternoon, I'm going to focus on wrapping. And then, you know, I can edit while Mark's taking his quiet time and just kind of break it into sections. And then I know, um, kind of a game plan for the day without having to be like super scheduled. That helps me kind of with a busy season. So, um, you know, and, Two, I just also wanted to say this. I know we're all stressed right now. I know there's a million things and you have shopping and wrapping and all. Just try to remember as we're going into the season of being with family, kids and all that, like be present and remember the reason for the season. And it's not just presence and <laughs> craziness and stress, you know. I'm really trying to remember like that I want my kids my kids are never going to remember the presents they got this year. Most likely when they get older, they're probably not going to remember the presents they got this year, but they will remember the memories we make. They will remember the way their mom presented herself as either crazy, <laughs> stressed out mom, or like a very present, calm, fun mom, you know? And so you have the power to um, set the atmosphere of your home. And, you know, the whole saying, like, if mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. And so, <laughs> um, that's what I'm trying to remember. And then in for your life, maybe you're not a mom, but you know, you still have the power to influence the others around you. And, um, we're, we're going to get, we're going to get through it. So anyway, let's get this day going. <laughs> Let's go outside, the snow is falling down And every child is having so much fun The snowman is twice the size as me With a smile as quirky as mine We're holding hands to keep each other warm While we stand and watch a choir perform And all the Christmas songs that we love Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love and in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe is baby with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you so beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. Ooh -hoo. Making plans, what we're gonna do? I feel so blessed 
that I can be with you Cause God knows that I've been longing for ya I just wanna hold you close You know the stars are shining just for you Let's take a walk And we can follow the moon Not till we reach a place we can stay Maybe kiss a bit and dream away And in a while we're gonna go inside And drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe Baby, with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe Baby, with you So we are home. This is all the stuff that's not gifts that I got at Walmart. And then I'll tell you guys about the bike um, here in a second too. But not about not a very lot of stuff. It's not even a sentence. Not a very lot of stuff. <laughs> so it sounds a little crazy today. Um, okay, so sprinkle muffins. I'm so glad they had these. Sometimes they don't have them, but the great value muffins are really soft and like puffy. They're just really good. Uh, my kids love them better than any other kind, and they're really affordable. So we got got these for, we call them sprinkle muffins, but they're birthday cake mini muffins. We got those to take with us. I'm going to take a big old thing of cottage cheese. This has been like my go-to protein source lately. So I'm going to take that with us. Um, I just wanted to get a fresh one that wasn't open that we could stick in the cooler. We are out of mini marshmallows. Here's our little, we have like just a few left. Um... Mark likes these as like a little snack with like some, I'll put some in his Fruit Loops. So like a, like four or five in his Fruit Loops and he thinks it's like the best thing ever. Um, and they put them in hot chocolate and stuff. So the only bag they had was this giant one. So I need to make like Rice Krispie Treats or something with it. I do have a bunch of cereal. Maybe I could do some sort of thing if I have any time. Um, some sort of cereal treat. I was a little nervous that I'm not going to have enough milk chocolate to make the large peanut butter cup things. I think I do, but I just went ahead and got another bag just in case. And then I've been looking for these the last couple weeks and they finally had them back in stock. If you ever, I love to do gift baskets. Like that's my new thing. I do them all the time for gifts. And there's a couple that I did this year. And so I only needed two and I just realized that these are two packs. So there's two in each one. So I'll just have an extra one, which is great because they go out of stock all the time. But they're very inexpensive. I think each one was like a little over $2. And it just makes your gift baskets look really nice. Um, I know you could like buy the cello wrap and all that, like a big roll of it. But this is just easier. I don't use the bow usually. Um, but I love the, the look of the, you know, if you're giving a gift. These are really nice. Um, okay, let me turn the camera around. All right, you guys. So we're back home. Um, I got my bike. You saw me kind of like just trying to, I was making sure in the store that the seat was going to be comfortable. It's way too low. We've got to raise it. Um, but I wanted to like feel it out because that's what I'm mostly concerned about with all of my issues, my <laughs> pelvic floor issues. I'm worried about this. Um, but it was like super comfortable. So I ended up with a cruiser which is what I wanted. I love it. It feels really comfortable. I didn't really pedal it in the store. So I was like, I need some momentum. So when we got home, I like just kind of rode it around the driveway, but it needs, it needs the seat elevated. Otherwise my legs are too long where it is right now. So, um, David's at work. So when he gets home, hopefully he can help me. I'm excited to like ride around the block with it and, um, all of that. It's, it's exciting. Like I'm excited to do this with Lucy. Like it's just gonna be a fun thing. So I'm excited for my bike. And then I also finished out the kids stockings. Mark saw what everybody got, but he won't remember like, or he won't care. Hopefully. <laughs> um, he kept saying, Ooh, Ooh, I'm like, Shh, you don't, you don't see this. <laughs> um, Anyway, so I will be doing a video today on what I got our kids in a stocking. So look for, I'm going to post one a day 
Tuesday, oh, today's Wednesday. Wednesday should be what Nate got for Christmas, Thursday, what Lucy got for Christmas, Friday, what Mark got for Christmas, and Saturday, what's in the stockings. That's my plan. So over on Patreon, all of those will be going up. <sighs> in the name of Jesus. <laughs> okay. Um, but I'm going to put all of this stuff away. We didn't need a lot of stuff. Um, basically, milk was the big thing. And I didn't show you guys milk in the hall, but we did get two gallons of milk. Um, got my Panera coffee, and it is only 10.15. We're back home, and I'm going to get to getting presents together um, and wrapped. That is my goal. That's what I told you I was going to do, and I am going to do it. Um, I'm just kind of sad today because my – I'm not going to be selfish, though. My nephew, who I have not seen in a year, sweet little nephew. They live in Wisconsin. My brother and sister-in-law, too. They are getting into my mom and dad's house today. And so they're on their way and they're everybody's excited to see them. But we're not going to be there until Sunday. And today is Wednesday. And I'm just, I, I, I have had a few tears about it. I just miss him so much. And it's hard to live away from family. And like he's just grown so much. And anyway. I'm feeling definite FOMO. <laughs> I feel definite FOMO about not being there and missing so many days with him. And when we get there, we'll only have like one day before he has to go back home. It's just the way Christmas fell this year um, on a Sunday. Christmas Eve fell on a Sunday. So we can't, obviously we can't leave until after Christmas Eve um, with our church. And so, you know, David has even said, because he knows how much it breaks my heart. And he's like, you could go early. And I'll come and I'm like, no, like I'm not, like I'm not missing our Christmas Eve service and I don't want to leave David without us on Christmas Eve and all that. So we're going to be there. It's just, I'm hoping this next year we get to see them more. Like I really want to make it a hard effort too, because he's growing up so fast. Okay. It's not going to be a bummer of a video. I'm sorry, you guys. <sighs> It's such like a tender spot in my heart because I get to see my other nieces and nephews a lot more because, or my other nieces and nephew a lot more because we go home several times during the year and they live where my mom and dad live. And so we see them a lot more. I still miss them, but I see them a lot more. But Ollie, I just love him so much and he's such a sweet little guy and I love his mom and dad too, and it just sucks that we can't see him more. So, <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna stop crying like a fool and uh, get these presents wrapped, and I will see y'all back. Hopefully, more will have been done. <laughs> okay, one last thing. I'm gonna stop crying. One last thing. So, these were on the ceiling fan with Ralph this morning, and um, I said, Nate, where's Ralph? And he said, Oh, he's on the ceiling fan, and he brought me Pringles. And look, it says on here, too, for Ralph, I mean, to Nate love Ralph. Nate is like a genius, I swear. He could not see that. And also, the Tooth Fairy visited Nate last night. And Nate got, he got $2. And he was like, like, money to him is nothing. He's just like, oh, we don't even know where it is. He probably put it somewhere. He's just like, whatever. <laughs> so I guess the tooth fairy needs to bring Nate like Doritos or something <laughs> for Nate to give a rip because he's like, money, what's this? I don't need this. Um, mom and dad buy my stuff. Last night, Lucy was so sweet. She had a dollar that she had given Nate. I forget for what. And that she had saved it for him because she knows how he is. He'll just drop it, throw it down, whatever. And she's like, Nate, this is for your popcorn. And so she kept up with it and she gave it to him and all this and let him buy the popcorn with his dollar. It was so sweet. Um, but normally he'd be like, okay. <laughs> so anyway, all right, now I'm going to get, I'm going to get to wrapping now. All right, you guys. So I got all the presents wrapped. I think I don't have anything else left to wrap. And that is a beautiful, actually, that's not true. I do have two gift bags to do, but no more actual wrapping of like boxes and all that. So that took me a while, but I got it all done. I think I'm going to go ahead and make my checks mix today. Um, it's very, very easy, and then it'll have to be in the oven for several hours, and I'll just have to stir it, but I'm going to be around, so this would be a good day to do it. So, 
doing it a little different this year. Usually I only use the Honey Nut Checks. This is like a sweet and savory one. So I like to do a little bit of a sweet check in there. But then these are new. So I thought I would do half maple, half regular. And then bugles are going in, cheese crackers, a little bit of goldfish, and some pretzels. Um, and then all you do is you take like a stick and a half of butter, melt some Worcestershire sauce um, in there, or pour some Worcestershire sauce in there, a little bit of garlic powder. I do onion powder and like a little bit of seasoned salt. And then you just pour it on a cookie sheet once you toss it all together. And it goes in the oven for at 225 for two hours and you stir it every 30 minutes so, so it's really i'm just showing you guys the method you could put anything in this you could put nuts different cereals um bagel chips like you could put anything um but let me get all this together and then i'll show you the sauce mixture all right you guys so i'm gonna try to do this with one hand and show y'all i've got a stick and a half of butter here is my mixture so i don't really measure but i will say i do like six cups of Chex Mix around. Um, I got my cup measure out just to kind of try to guess what it would be. A couple of cups of bugles, a couple of cups of pretzels, a couple of cups of Cheez-Its, a couple, maybe one to two cups of goldfish. Um, but you can do however you want it, more or less of whatever is your favorite. Um, my hands are clean. I melted a stick of butter, a stick and a half of butter. And then we're going to do three tablespoons of Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. One. This is what gives it that Chex Mix, Chex Mix flavor to me. This and a little bit of hot sauce, or I like to use buffalo sauce. It's weird. The butter like crystallized. <laughs> I was like, what is that? The, the, um... The Worcestershire sauce is cold, and so there's a little butter in my spoon, and it, like, hardened it. Okay. Here we go. Perfect. And then I like to do a good bit of this. I think it needs a little few dashes. Let's do, like, however much you want. To me, this isn't super hot, so I'm not going to be eating it, though, so I don't want to overdo it. So I'm hoping the kids will like it. It's not, yeah, it's not going to be too hot. You can leave that part out if you wanted to. And then I do some garlic powder. However much. Just measure with your heart. And then technically it's like a teaspoon of salt. However, the buffalo sauce is salty and the Worcestershire sauce I think is kind of salty. So I'm just going to do a nice little sprinkle of the seasoned salt and normally if I was eating this stuff which I'm not so I can't do it but if you are planning on eating this I would recommend stirring this up really well dipping something in there and tasting it and make sure you like the flavor and you don't want any more or less of anything but I've made this a lot and usually it's fine so I'm going to now pour the mixture very carefully over the cereal and we're going to stir it up make sure it's really well coated and then you're going to pour it onto a big cookie sheet or you may have to divide it into two cookie sheets i line them with foil just to make the clean up easier and like i said 225 actually i think i did two a little over than that today 230 put it on a low temp stir it every 30 minutes for two hours and then it'll be all perfect you want to just cook that sauce into the stuff so it's not wet so all right let me pour this on all right so i was able to get it all onto one large cookie sheet i lined it with parchment instead of foil but you could do whatever or not line it um it's all well coated i'm going to stick this in the oven and just kind of babysit it today and it's going to make the house smell really really good but it, like i said you could put whatever you want in your chex mix it's very like versatile you could put whatever seasoning the best thing is just make sure it's really well coated. That way you have that nice flavor on all of the all of the cereal and crackers and pretzels and all that. So I'm gonna stick this in the oven. I also make a sweet Chex Mix that has more of a sweet taste. It has like brown sugar in it and stuff. It's really good too. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it this year or not, but if I do, I'll definitely show you guys. 
All right, you guys, I got it all out of the oven. Let it cool for about 45 minutes to an hour. It's nice and cool. I put it in these square plastic containers I got at the Dollar Tree. And can you believe both of those sheets fit in, or both of those sheets, one of those big cookie sheets filled up almost two. It smells so good. So that is done. I still probably will, probably will make my sweet one. I'll do that and just do a little bit of a smaller batch. That one is only Chex Mix, Bugles, brown sugar, and butter. And then at the end, you throw in some M&Ms. But this is a family favorite everybody loves. So I'm going to stick it over here. And I like that these are kind of flat. It'll be easier to transport. All right, you guys. So it is now four o'clock and Nate's home. <laughs> you can't hear. <laughs> um, I pulled out my mug. This is officially my hot chocolate mug. I always like to have hot chocolate in this mug. Um, so I've got my hot chocolate here. My phone's beeping. It was that. That's David. But I have my hot chocolate packet here. 13 grams of protein. It's going to make me feel great. And it's so good. I can't decide if I should do caramel, salted caramel, hot chocolate. Hey, turn that down. Or peppermint. I think I'm going to do the peppermint again. That was really good. So I'm going to get some hot water going. I need a kettle. I need an electric kettle. That would be so great and convenient. Right now, I'm either heating water up on the stove or in the microwave. We're going microwave version so I can get this in me faster. I am so cold. It's really cold outside and I just cannot warm up. I think after I get a little more work done, I'm going to take a hot shower. That always kind of helps. Hey, dude, turn that down. <laughs> when I vlog, Nate goes and turns up something, so it drowns me out. I guess I'm annoying. Um, Mark woke up from his nap. Not feeling the best in the world. Um, he's got a cold. I don't think it's anything, like, super serious or anything. It's just snotty, coughing, not feeling great. So I think we're just going to stay home tonight, which I hate because he was having a little party tonight. But I would hate to spread any of this until I know for sure. He doesn't have a fever, but he sounds kind of yucky. So I think we're just going to stay home. I've got a lot to do. Um, so I need to do uh, some YouTube stuff tonight. And also, I'm very behind on a couple of things I'm working on. But first, hot chocolate. So... I'll show you guys that when I get it done. Um, and then Lucy's done. Like, she doesn't have to go tomorrow. Nate has a party tomorrow, and then he can be checked out after that. So we are, like, this close to everybody being home, which I'm so excited about. Um, and I showed Lucy my bike, and she loved it. So I'm really excited to ride that with her when she gets hers. So anyway. Hey, Layla. I'll see y'all in a second. All right, friends, here it is. So when I placed my order for this month, um, I ordered enough hot chocolate to have one every other day, about. Um, but I've been drinking a lot of them, so I'm really worried I'm going to run out before the end of the month. But, y'all, they're so good, and I just love having it in the afternoon. That's when I always have my little hot chocolate is in the afternoon. So I did the peppermint flavor. And this peppermint extract, it just runs all over the place. Like, it doesn't pour very, like, smooth. So I got it all over my hands. I'm hoping it's not going to be too strong. Ooh, that's perfect. Oh, man. It's a little stronger than yesterday, but it's still really good. Yum. A little bit of whipped cream in there. All right, you guys. It is pretty much the end of the night. Um, I just got a nice hot shower and I feel so much better. So we have just been kind of hanging out here at home. Um, Mark seems to be feeling a little bit better, but he's still kind of snotty. Lucy said her head was hurting. It's just kind of like one of those nights where I'm like, please, let's not be getting sick. Um, she's also having trouble with her expander again, so I'm going to call them tomorrow. She thinks it feels loose again, and I think tomorrow's the last day they're open before the holidays, so I just want to make sure before we go out of town that it's okay. Um, so we've got that going on. Um, but everybody had dinner. I had leftovers from last night, which was I made like Asian lettuce wraps, and um, I didn't have any more lettuce 
like whole leaf lettuce to use as lettuce wrap. So what I did was I took the meat mixture and put a bunch of shredded lettuce on top of it and ate it like the salad. It's actually really good. Same flavor, but just a little easier to eat. Um, then I got the boys a bath and um, got some laundry done. Exciting, exciting. Got myself a bath and or a shower. And then um, David should be home soon. So I'm going to see what he wants to make him something quick to eat. Um, tomorrow, I get to go to the dentist. If you guys have been around for a long time, you know that I hate the dentist so much. But I made a pact with myself that I was going to go every six months. And it has already been six months since I went the last time. I'm hoping, I mean, I just hope everything looks okay and I don't have to have any work done or anything. I just had a crown six months ago. And I don't know. I feel like every time you go to the dentist, they tell you something's wrong. And I just want a fun, I want to go one time where they're like, everything looks great. So um, hopefully it'll go okay. Uh, last time I went to a different office, but they were able to get me in closer to home. It's the same practice, just a different location. So that'll be good. It's just right down the road. And David said they have like massage dental chairs now. <laughs> they didn't have that at the last one. This must be a newer, uh, you know, updated office or something. I don't know. So that should be interesting. But let's go ahead and do the advent calendar. I guess the kids have given up doing it with me. Um... Let's see, 22. We only have a couple more boxes left, y'all. I'm going to be sad. And somebody, actually a couple of you guys have said, you need to keep all the boxes and make your own advent calendar next year. And I thought that was a great idea. So I am definitely going to keep all these little boxes inside of this box. And then next year, maybe I can do an advent calendar for the kids and do it like a homemade one. This says glow time for eyes. I have no idea. Something for eyes. I will say there has been a lot of like masks in this box, which I don't mind masks, but I would rather have like actual products or even like, like I really have been enjoying the moisturizer I got like day one or something, but a lot of masks. This isn't a mask though. I bet it's like an eye cream. Let's see. Brightening eye cream. I need to go ahead and put some of this on. So that's good. I like that because the masks are nice, but it's like a one and done thing. You know, you use it one time and it's over. So, okay, y'all, we only have two more left, 23 and 24, because I don't think there's one. No, it's just a countdown to Christmas, so there's no 25. So that is exciting. Um, tomorrow will be a busy day with my dentist appointment, us trying to get into the orthodontist and Nate's class party. Um, David's gonna go to him, go to his party. Only one of us can go because somebody has to stay with Mark and well, and Lucy too. Now that she's not going to school, and they don't allow siblings, so um, I got to go to Lucy's. So I told David, if you want to go, you can go to Nate's, and he was excited about that. So he's gonna go party it up with Mr. Nate in his class tomorrow. I've got all the teacher gifts ready. I need to get the bus driver gifts ready though. I just got them a little something um, because our bus drivers are so nice. So. I need to get that. I've got them wrapped. I just need to tie a little bow on there. And I need to finish um, doing a little bit more work tonight on the computer before I go to bed. But it's been a very productive day. I'm very grateful for that. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. Stay tuned. Vlogmas Day 23 is next. Oh my gosh. I love you guys so much. If you liked today's video, give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Definitely subscribe if you're new. We'll see you guys tomorrow. It is to ride.